David Panel from the University of Western Australia. Agriculture has delivered massive benefits to humanity. The development of agriculture is what got human beings started on the long trip from hunter-gatherers to modern civilization. We wouldn't have our current wealth, health, knowledge and technology if our ancestors around 10,000 years ago hadn't decided to start cultivating crops and raising animals rather than just collecting seeds and fruit and hunting wildlife. Agriculture remains an economically important industry in developed countries and despite massive growth in cities in many developing countries, more than half of the labour force in those countries is still engaged in agriculture. If you join us, then over the six weeks of the course we'll cover a broad range of issues that will give you a new perspective on agriculture, including questions such as why have prices for some major agricultural products fallen so dramatically for more than a hundred years? How have farmers stayed in business despite those price falls? What are some of the key challenges facing agriculture in coming years? How should farmers approach decision making about agricultural inputs such as fertilisers? What have government policies for agriculture attempted to do and how can they be improved? And how can we best protect the environment from the negative impacts of agricultural production? Agriculture is not just an important and interesting topic, there are also many satisfying jobs available that relate to agriculture. In agricultural research, input sales, marketing, transport, education and training, environmental management, government policy and of course in farming itself. The course provides a foundation in important aspects of agricultural and resource economics. It would set you up nicely for further study in this area. The course is about agriculture, including agricultural production and the interaction between agriculture and the environment. We will be looking at these issues from an economic perspective. This is relevant because most farms are still owned and run by individual families but at the same time their businesses, which depend on good economic decision making in order to survive. Governments, of course, depend on good economic information to make good decisions on behalf of the community. The key economic principles that we'll learn about in the course can help those of us engaged in agriculture to make better decisions about how agriculture should be managed, about how we can get best value from natural resources used in agriculture, and about the design of government policy. They can also help us think about how to strike a good balance between agricultural production and its environmental impacts. There are thousands of agricultural economists around the world who work on these issues, so there's a wealth of knowledge for us to draw on. In each case, we'll look at these issues from a general perspective and then from a specifically economic perspective. You'll see that the economic perspective can often really enrich our understanding of what's happening and how we might respond. So join me in the course as we tackle these fascinating and important issues. I think you'll enjoy it.